G'day guys, Fish and Stray here. Today I am down on the very local Meander River, just out the back of Hadsman. Uh, it's about 15 k's out of Launceston and it is a 112 kilometer river that starts from Lake Meander all the way up on the Western Lakes. So it funnels through Huntsman's Lake, which is a lake open 24 seven all around the year. And anyway, I'm going to be hitting it today with, I've got on a MET size two Agila from All Goods. Launceston so that's usually a great lure for these shallow as you might be able to see but I can see the bottom there it is probably only about knee deep to a meter deep so anyway I'm gonna get right into it brown trout or salmo trata are the goal for today so hopefully I can get one to show you what they look like so anyway we'll get into it and we'll see you guys when we're on Ew. this video is proudly sponsored by all the Sightest. They have everything you need for trout fishing at the super cheap prices. Make sure you head in next time you're in Launceston. Also, don't forget to subscribe as it's just one click and it's free and it really helps me out. And make sure you enjoy the rest of this Fishing Australia video. Come on, eat it. He hit it. No. Oh, he hit it, but he didn't get the hooks. So, it's two casts, and I've already seen a fish. It's very, very good statistics. Right, hey guys, so even though that it's usually a beautiful time to fish map spinners, I think I'm going to swap over to a hawk sniper, another lure from All Goods Launceston. I'm going to use this one. That's the Spotted Assassin color pattern. Um, my thoughts on this. My thoughts on this are because the water is a little bit, it's still a little bit higher than what it would usually be. And on the weekend, last weekend, while I was fishing the South Esk in my most recent video, the water I would usually fish with MEP spinners, but it was shallow enough it was deep enough to fish it with hard bodies. And I caught f all four of my fish on hawk snipers. So, different river, but same system and same problem. So hopefully, the hawk sniper will come in clutch and get me a fish or more. Oh! God damn it. That was a fish. Well, um, the upstream part of the Mian River has been pretty, pretty shocking. I still, I reckon I'm having the same problem as what I was having earlier last week. There is still just that little bit, that little bit much, too much water on top of the original amount of water so that we're getting areas that you could fish that usually are great to fish 
have got too much water. So I'm gonna go downstream. I'm gonna fish back up. So hopefully we'll get onto a few downstream. So yeah. That was a definite hit, like 100% a hit. Like he took the, he took the reel out of my hand. <sighs> God damn it. Why can't I keep a fish? Platypus, two platypus. Just going along there. And a fish that I lost, epic. Another hit. They're here. They're here. trout fishing. I love trout fishing. Mm. Could it get better, any better than this? Legs covered in mud. Gum boots full of water. How many fish have I caught? Yep, you know it. Absolutely nothing. Ah. Let's go! Yo! Let's go! Finally! So guys, it's been a long day and I've had opportunity after opportunity and I've just missed them and missed them and missed them. Oh, where do you think you're going? And finally, one has hit the net. So this guy was taken on a little MEPS spinner. Size two. Tiny little fella, but nevertheless, I am very, very happy with him. Get the photo of the Crucius Elite rod in there. And he has absolutely engulfed that MEPS spinner. So, while I'm getting this out, I'll quickly talk about what I've been doing. So these MEP spinners are available from All Goods Launceston. They've got a huge range of them. And they're really cheap compared to your hard bodies and stuff like that. Like this lure I'm using at the moment costs a whopping $7. And for a lure, that is pretty damn cheap and anyway I've just been casting them out so I just cast out upstream these little shallow areas 
and just winding it back with like winding it back as fast as the current's going so if the current's going fast i'll wind that lure back a little bit faster if the current's going slow it's nice slowed down retrieve and these fish absolutely absolutely love these map spinners at this time of night and he didn't want to stick around so i guess that means there's more to come Ew. look at that sunlight guys like sometimes it's not always about going out and banging 20 fish it's about seeing stuff like that and witnessing it with your mates like look at all my mates i've got around with me today oh wait <laughs> but that's the thing it's a great sport whether you do it by yourself or whether you do it with mates and there's always different avenues to go. Ugh. Now surely I get one more to top the day off. Righto guys, so with that view of the beautiful Meander River, I'm going to leave you guys to it. So the Mets Agila got me the single Selmo Truta for the day. Um, so those map spinners are available at All Goods Launceston. $7 for one of those lures, and they catch fish all year round, especially in summer. Summer, they are the, they are the pinnacle of trout fishing lures and in shallow rivers. And um, the last thing I want to mention is make sure you plan to wear for the weather because my flash, your flashy, ridge line or hunter's element jumper that you buy from all goods launceston for a very good price ain't gonna keep you very warm if you leave it at home so just make sure if you plan to go late don't do a fish in australia take a jumper stay nice and warm and even if you do have to check it in your bag because you get too hot then at least at least you've got it there so something goes wrong and the car breaks down and you have to stay overnight you're gonna be warm but all right guys that's gonna be it for today hope you guys enjoyed it a lot and i'll see you guys in the next one